What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. So today I'm going to show you guys how I got this dark gloomy color grade in my picture and how you can also get it in yours. This shoot was to portray depression and sadness and being tied down by a lot of things in life. So I had to edit it like color grade it to really portray that because I couldn't get it to be exactly the way I wanted in camera. So watch it to the end because I will share a lot of tips all through the duration of this video this is going to be a two-part series the next one i'm going to edit which will be tomorrow will be how to get a lively feel to an image subscribe so that you get to see the video i'm going to upload tomorrow and see the complete part of it with that said let's begin <laughs> For this picture, I'm going to use um, Adobe Camera Raw. I may edit it later on in, I may like fine tune it later on inside Photoshop itself. But this is Adobe Camera Raw, the Camera Raw plugin that comes with Photoshop. Whenever you open a raw picture, this is where it comes up. So for this picture, all I'm going to do is to get rid of the vibrance in it. You know, if you want a picture to look gloomy, if you want a picture to look moody, you have to make it kind of dark and desaturated but it's not just moving the desaturation slider this way you have to do it like in a way that the picture will still look nice so let's get started um i'll just tweak some of the adjustments here depending on how long this video is i may have to speed up some of this part so that the video won't be too long so i'll just um let me just bring down my tint i'll kind of give, give it this dark green look like the saturated muted green look because that is what will make this picture look better so i'll give i'll keep the such um i'll keep the temperature at 6000 then i'll just tweak this side to make it look much darker okay let me um do some lens correction first so that I can tweak the exposure. So I just enable profile correction and then go back to my exposure and reduce it. That way I'm sure this is how it will be like whenever I tweak any other thing. The next set of tools I'm going to play with is a HSL sliders. This is where you get most of your um this is where you get your picture to really look the way you want when you are color grading. So I'll go to the saturation part and just desaturate everything aside from the uh, the color that I still want to be there in the image. So I'll not get rid of this blue because of the Facebook icon here. So I'll desaturate every other thing for the greens. I'll take it down. I notice that most of the time the colors that I see as green fall under yellows. So I'll also bring down the yellows, but not too much. You know, if I bring it down too much it doesn't really like it's too it's too much so i have to keep it around let's say 60 let me also see this one let me keep it around 69 then for the orange i'll bring it down more because if, if it's up she'll look too saturated for this scenery okay so i'll just fine tune it more then under the luminance i also play around with it Another thing that I'm going to add is vignettes because I a picture like this always looks better with vignette. It draws attention to the center of the image, to the person in the center. Let me just show you the difference. Just look at that from this to this. So I had a strong vignette, but I will just play around with it with the midpoint, the roundness, and the feathering. So let's see what that looks like now. I'll then go to my calibration and just add some blues we've gotten the image from looking this way which is the default like this which is how i captured it as you can see it's looking too vibrant to looking this way which is much darker and more gloomy and moody so i'll now open this picture in photoshop itself and 
just fine tune it a little bit more. We are now in Photoshop and I'll be using the selective color adjustment layer. This is where I'm going to play around a little bit more to really get it to look the way I want. So for the whites, I'll add some warmth to it. There's some yellows. Let me show you. Because I noticed adding some blue to it doesn't really look that nice. So I also add some reds to the white. Then I'll kill the the highlight a little bit more. Then for the blacks, I'll also play around a little bit more. I'm going to increase my contrast by four. Like this slider at the bottom is for contrast. Then my yellows I can play around that. I also play around with my reds. It always helps when you have like an idea of what you want in mind before you start color grading. That way you you know what you want the picture to look like. So since I wanted this picture to be really gloomy, I knew that I have to make the picture like just fit into that profile. So with just this fair adjustment, it should get me down there. So this is what it looks like with the selective color adjustment layer. I noticed that these muted green tones always look better. So I think I can just use the hue and saturation layer here to make the yellows and greens more muted. So I'll just desaturate it more. And that really has a dark vibe. Let me show you the picture the way it was before. So this is what the picture was like before. This is the way I've gotten it in this video and I hope you've learned a couple of things. This is the, the final edit that I did, you know, I had to add smoke here and get rid of the wallet that I used to hold the phone. So I did some more fine tuning when I actually edited the picture the first time. But that is how the, that's how I got this look and that's how you can get yours so you just have to know what do i want what do i need for this edit and if you want something dark you get rid of the colors that make it come alive this is going to be a two parts and tomorrow i'm going to show you how to get a warm vibrant look to an image so that's it for this video guys i hope you learned a thing or two if you did so um click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share this video with your friends if you have any question or anything drop it down there in the comment section See you guys in the next video.